feel like for a really long time I was seeking peace in my life and I'm gonna share with you today my story about how I really surrendered my life to God and ultimately found that peace. I'm going on vacation, um, flying to California to meet up with my family, um, to go to a place that's called Hume Lake, um, which is located right between Sequoia National Forest and Kings Canyon. And it's a place that we have been enjoying for years and years. And uh, even though I'm quite far away, um, I couldn't resist the opportunity to go and spend some time with family and especially spend some time with my daughters. So as this vacation was coming around, um, my, my youngest daughter and I started having a conversation around whether or not um, I should be baptized while I'm up there. Um, this place is very special for us. We've had a lot of memorable moments and it's very clear that my relationship with God has changed recently and it's been on my heart lately to get baptized um, there's I'll definitely share with you kind of my story behind coming to my relationship with Christ as it is now, but what a, a great way to recognize our relationship and also make a public display of it. And to share some insight with my family as well on um, why I've come to fully submit to him and to follow his word and it's not um, unique for my family um, we're very strong believers um, and so I knew that um, everybody would really um, appreciate and enjoy it as well and sharing that moment with me so and no better place than to do it in Hume Lake, this place that we visit every year that we have visited for at least the last 30 years and um, that we've had other memorable moments as well. So. so as I was planning and starting to share with, you know, family what I wanted to do, um, my daughter decided uh, that she was going to get baptized at the same time too. And so what a special thing for us to share. So for my story, um, you know, I grew up Christian. I've always had a relationship with God. Um, not to say that I haven't questioned things and I haven't even walked away at times. Um, you know, as I dealt with some of the more trying things in my life, it, uh, I couldn't help but question why it was happening to me. Um, but while I've been on the road, um, there have just been a number of things that have occurred that really just felt like he had my back and was watching out for me. And, you know, it didn't matter if it was, you know, mechanical or weather related. Um, there's just several examples where I felt like he was looking out for me and I think also being on the road um, you know I'm interacting with different people and people that believe different things and 
one of the kind of common threads with nomads is that they believe that there is a pull and a force within the universe. Um, but I would say very little of them are willing to kind of give that recognition to Jesus Christ, to God. Um, and so even in those experiences, it made me really try and figure out, uh, what do I believe? Um, what do I want to believe? What do I want to stand behind? And so it is through those experiences that brought me closer to God. And I did just decide that I wanted to believe his word and I wanted to live for him. And when I fully submitted to him and just decided that I was going to give all glory to him and that I was going to continue to learn as much as I could about him and live my life Jesus-like. And I know that may sound funny and I'm not perfect, but I can choose to show up with grace and understanding and positivity and make an Im a positive impact on people's lives around me. And uh, that was the greatest feeling ever. And so that, uh, yeah, and you know, I stopped, I was kind of afraid I would be shy around sharing my story or my faith in him. And I just, I stopped worrying about that stuff and I started to share it more regularly. And, you know, I, I think everybody has to find their own balance and I'm, I'm definitely not one that's going to impress upon you what you should believe, but I am definitely more comfortable sharing what I believe and showing up in a way that I think he would be proud and that let that alone influence others around me to say, wow, you know, she, she really, um, I, I like being around her. Um, I like, what do you know what I ran out of storage? <laughs> so what was I saying? Um, for me, I, uh, you know, in coming to Christ, um, one of the biggest influences for me is, um, how I show up in the world. And so, um, you know, showing up with a positive mindset, kind of like a, we can do it. We can get through anything. Um, which, you know, I feel like I've exhibited in my life as well. So it's definitely who I am at my core and um, just the energy that I show up with. Those are the things that I really focus on to be Christ-like. And um, yeah, it's brought me that peace. Uh, I never would have realized that just by making maybe some of those solid decisions and then deciding how I wanted to move forward in my life. Um, it's been amazing. So, uh, I would definitely encourage you to do some self-reflection and, um, find what you're comfortable with and how you want to live your life. I think the more of us that, um, don't get caught up in society, those societal pressures, um, you know, just the day-to-day -day stressors, especially, you know, um, politics and things of that nature. Uh, but instead just, um, live our life the best that we can, um, in the best way that we can for ourselves and for others. We need more of those in the world. So, so let's get packed and get ready to go. Here we come, California. So much. You're welcome. Thanks, you too.